hallo jylle, webe lekker Afrikaans en makkelijk verstaan. Klaas, in hierdie les, um, welcome Afrikaans met easy learners, um, we're going to do, in our third lesson, we're going to do language um, for Afrikaans first additional learners. In hierdie video kie, gaan ons kyk na die selfstandige naamwoord. En de selfstandige naamwoord is de noun. So kom ons begin. Wat is een selfstandige naamwoord, jylle? Does anyone know what is a noun? Wat is een selfstandige naamwoord? Een selfstandige naamwoord kan op sy eie staan. Bijvoorbeeld, een stoel, een tafel, een man, boom, klip, huis en jy kry nog een lang lys. Nou, it is something that can stand on its own, like a chair, a table, man, tree, rock, house, and the list goes on. Good. The second definition or the second thing that can tell us what is a noun, what is a selfstandige naamwoord, daar kom altyd die woord a of die voor a selfstandige naamwoord. Bijvoorbeeld die man, die liefde, a boom. Ok, do you know what this means? It means that the words a and or de can always be placed in front of the noun. Like the man, a tree, the love we have for each other. En dit is alle selfstandige naamwoorde. Man, liefde, boom, huis, tafel. Dit is alles selfstandige naamwoorde wat nouns in Engels is. Goed. Maar jylle, ons kry verskillende selfstandige naamwoorde. En jy gaan die verskillende, moet, die verskillende selfstandige naamwoorde moet ken. So there's different types of nouns and you must know them. So let's first look at the first one. Ons sê a eie naam. Wat is a eie naam? A eie naam, we say it's a proper noun. I'm going to go in depth later, but let's quickly go through the list of what there is, the different types. The second one is a soort naam. A soort naam is a common noun. Okay, I believe most of you know what is a proper noun and you know what is a common noun. So a eie naam is a proper noun en a soort naam is a common noun. Dan kry ons ook a versamel naam. En a versamel naam jylle is a collective noun. It's a group of things. Ok. Dan kry ons a stof naam. En a stof naam is uncountable nouns. You cannot count them. Alright. En dan a abstracte selfstandige naamwoord is a abstract noun. I believe you all heard about the abstract noun in the pre or in your life. Goed, so kom ons kyk nou bykie verder na hulle elkeen apart. Ons gaan eerste na die eie naam kyk, the proper noun. So wat is a eie noem, wat is die eigenskap, wat is the functions of a proper noun? Die amtelike naam van a persoon, a geografiese verskynsel, van a plek, a brug, a pas, a straat, enzovoort. What did I just say to you? Let's quickly look. The official name of a person, geographical phenomenon, like a place, a bridge, a pass, a street. Okay, let's say you are staying, like for me, I'm staying, let's say, in Bush Street. Bush needs to be in capital letters. Okay, so my next point is, eie name begin altyd met with letters. Altyd jylle, boys and girls, remember, proper nouns always, always, always starts with a uppercase. If you do not write it in a uppercase, it will be wrong, because then you do not talk about a eie naam. If I tell you, please, in this passage, take out for me a proper noun, then it should be in capital letters. You can't just take out house. House is not a proper noun. Remember what I said. This a official name of a person. Let's say Dr. Grobler. Okay, Dr. Grobler. Doctor 
and Kroble needs to be in capital letters. Um, let's say you talk about your friend Sari Swanepoel. Sari Swanepoel, both the S's should be capital letters and it's a person's name. Ook wat mens hierby kan sit, is kom ons sê jy bly in Johannesburg. Ok, let's say you stay in Joburg. Can I go and say, um, what other town? Pretoria. Can I say Pretoria is now Johannesburg? Can I do it? Kan ek sê Pretoria, kan ek sommer na vir Johannesburg sê ek gaan Pretoria toe, as ek Johannesburg toe gaan? No, you cannot do that, because Johannesburg is, um, it is the name for Johannesburg. It's, it's his own name. Okay, you can't say now that Johannesburg is Pretoria, and you can't say Pretoria is Johannesburg. They have each their own name. So in Afrikaans say ons, that you can't even Johannesburg say Pretoria nie. Want Johannesburg, sy eie eie naam is Johannesburg. Okay, Pretoria sy eie eie naam is Pretoria. Let's say your name is Ina. Kan ek nou even skielik sê Ina, your name is from now on Clara. Can I do that? No, because your name is Ina. You are not Clara. If I call you Clara, will you, will you react to me? As ek nou even skielik vir Ina Clara sê, gaan sy kyk na my, gaan, no, because that's not her name. So that is also something you can remember about proper nouns. Eie naam. It belongs to a specific person or a place. So that it um, behoort aan a specific person or a specific place. Good, you can't give it to someone else. And it's always in capital letters. I hope that explanation, I hope that you have a good So I hope you can understand what is a eie naam, a proper noun. All right. Here is an example. Kom ons kyk lees bykie. Hoerskool strand is op die hoek van Sarel Silje straat en Ero Drome weg. Leders van HS noem ons self Arende en trotse Arende dra op dinsda ons skoolbaikies vir So if we do it in English, Strand High School is at the corner of Sarel Silje Street and Aerodrome Road. SAS, SHS learners call themselves Eagles and proud Eagles wear their school jackets for the for hall on Tuesdays. Alright, so kijk hier so, hier is eie name, eie name, eie name, Daar is ei name, because it stands for Hoerskool Strand, Arende, Arende, en Dinsda. Because Dinsda, Tuesdays, it's a name of the week. And also months, boys and girls, months on the calendar, January, February, January, February, March, always in capital letters. This work a eie naam, because it belongs to that month. And like then start, it belongs to that day. I can't go and say now, woensdag is sommer nou dinsdag nie nou. So, onthou asjeblief, eie name, it belongs to a specific place or person, in this altyd met with letters. Goed, kom ons beweeg na die volgende ene keer, en dit is soort name. Now, what is a soort name? It's a common noun. What is a soort name? Kom ons kyk bykie. Die woorde waarna ons verwijs is dinge wat gesien en aangeraak kan word. So we can see them and we can touch them. So it's things that we can see, touch, feel, taste. Okay, let's say you like water and um, you drink it out of a bottle. So the bottle is a common noun. So water is nie a soort naam nie, dit is a um, stof naam. Maar die bottel waar uit jy die water drink, jylle, is a soort naam, it's a common noun. So die water bottel, you can see it, you can touch it, if you put it in your mouth, you taste the bottle. Nou, goed, 
Nog een eigenschap, another function of a swapnaam, die woord kan in de vorm van een meervoud, een verkleining geskryf word. So it can be written in plural form. Ok, remember in English, you don't say it's a, it's a curry um, or what, uh, tree key. You don't say that. You say it's a small tree. Maar in Afrikaans sê ons, it is a boom P. Ok, so that's one for a common noun. You can put it in plural form. You can put it in more than one. Alright. Dan een lidwoord, die en e kan voor die soort naam geplaas word. So the words, the articles, de, e and an can be placed in front of the word. Let's quickly look at this example. Buiten in die tuin het ons e waterpoliekie met visse in. My booty moet vir die visse kos gee en ek moet die poliekie gereeld skoon maak. So all these that was underlined tells me that this is common nouns. Or it shows, no, 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 it shows me that here is an article, a lit word, wat voorgesit word. So garden, tuin, is a, and a water pool, a small water pool, fish, fish here as well, and in the pool. They are all common nouns. So die tuin, ek loop in die tuin, buiten. Ek kan hom sien, ek kan hom voel, ek kan aan hom ruik. So you can feel and touch the garden. Nou, visse, you can see them, you can touch them, the fishes. Nou, booty, that's your brother. You can see it, you can touch it. So that's also a common name. Here are some examples. Tafel, stoel, kas, pen, dam, fiets, bank, dochter, sien, vrou. So what does these words mean? Table is a tafel. Tafel is a table. Stoel, chair. Kas, it's a closet. Pen, it's my pen. Dam is a pond. Fiets is my bicycle. I sit up the bank. I sit on the sofa. Dochter. It's your daughter, sien, son, vrou, um, a vrou is a woman. Here are some examples, boys and girls. Please also, like the um, eienname, the proper nouns. Also for the swerd name, the common nouns, please, please practice them, learn them by heart. You need to make sure that you know how they fit in a sentence. If I ask you to take them out of a paragraph, you need to can tell me what is a swerd name. What is a eienaam? The next one we're going to look at is versamelnaam. You need to be able to tell me what it is in Afrikaans. Goed, so kom ons beweeg aan na die volgende enekie toe. As ek net weer hier so gaan kyk jylle, onthou hier so, dat dit is woorde wat verwijs na goeders wat jy kan sien en aanraak. So it's words that you can touch and feel. You can put them in plural form. You can put the articles in front of them. That is tips that needs to help you to see them. So learn these in Afrikaans. Leer hierdie in Afrikaans, so dat jy dit in Afrikaans kan toepas. Ok, as ons nou aangaan na die versamel nou, um, collective nouns. Collective nouns, boys and girls, is goed as wat jy in een groep sit. You, you group them. So a soort name, dit is soort name, we just learned what is soort name. Soort name is common nouns, which is things that you can see, you can touch, you can feel. So you take, a, um, let me read this, soort name wat een nieuwe functie verrug en daarom een nieuwe naam kry. Dit word gebruik om een ander selfstandige naamwoord te meet. So you measure another noun. So, common nouns that perform a new function and therefore get a new name. Common noun and mass names, it is used to measure another noun. Ok, I gaan vir julle nou meer verduidelik as jy dokie verstaan nie, kom ons kyk na die volgende ene kies. Kyk eers nou. Ek het a box perskes, a emmer vruchtekoekmengsel, a liter melk by Pekampai gekoem. 
Jullie hier kan ons sien dat box is een soortnaam, perskes is een soortnaam, want hier kan ek een lidwoord, een artikel voor hom sit, en perskes in meervoud sit. Nou, emmer is een soortnaam, vruchtekoekmengsel jylle is ook een soortnaam, liter is um, een stofnaam, of liter is een measurement, en melk is een Fysisch, jy kan om sien, drink, alles. Nou, dit is een soort naam. So as ons omlees, I bought a box of peaches, a bucket of fruit cake and a gallon of milk. Sien jylle hier, dat ek het gegroepeer, maar ek het een soort naam gebruik saam met een soort naam. So hier gee ek vir die prentje, dat it's a box of peaches, but box is a common noun, and peaches is also a common noun, but now they have a new function. Hulle het een nieuwe functie nou verrug, sien jy? So hier kan jy nou sê, dit is a box perskes, a emmer vruchtekoekmengsel, a bucket of fruitcake mix, so you, it, you already see it's big, it's just, it's not just a, um, a fruit me, a fruitcake mix, it's a bucket full. Then you have a gallon of milk. You don't only have a cup of milk, or you don't only have milk, it shows you how much you have. So it puts it in a function, puts it in a group. Okay. Because a box of peaches are more than one peach together. So that's why it there's a group. It's a group of peaches together. Dan crowns a school fisher. A swarm by a kiribese, a group van een soort by mekaar, just like I explained to you now. A school of fish, a swarm of bees, a herd of cattle. It's a group of things grouped together. So you must always look for something like that. If a collective noun is a group of things together. So it's a group goeikies by mekaar. It, will, it, um, it won't only show you one, like a soort noun. It's one. But it can be placed in a plural. In this instance, perskis. But now it tells you directly how many. Okay. Good. As ons verder aan gaan, jylle kyk ons nou na die stofnaam. And stofnaam is part of the uncountable nouns. Let me explain to you why. Die woorde wat verwijs na vaste stoffe, metale, gasse en vloeistoffe wat gemeet, maar nie getel kan word nie. Jylle, you can measure it, but you cannot count it. Jy kan nie vir my water. You cannot count water. Can you? No. Sand, the sea sand. Can you go and count the sand? No, you cannot go and count it. But you can measure it. It's a bucket of sand. It's a mug full of milk or water, but you cannot count them. So they are uncountable. But like I said, um, stofname is things that comes out of the earth, boys and girls, like diamonds. I'm going to show you later on examples. Another thing is, voordat jy die goud en die diamante in die natuur kan by uitkom, moet jy eers dier tonne sand graf om selfs dier en ook soms dier megaliter waterse voor jy by goud of diamante kan uitkom. So what I say here is, before you can get to the gold and diamonds in nature, you have to dig through tons of sand or even sift through megaliters of water before you can get to the elements or um, the metals. Now, goed. Tijdens die asemhalingsproces, so your, um, so we can do, tijdens asemhalingsproces verbruik jy baie seerstof en asem jy baie koolstofdioxide uit. What I mean here is during the breathing process, like breathing process, you consume a lot of oxygen and you exhale a lot of carbo, carbon dioxide. Does it make sense? And you can, cannot count them, can you count them? No, you cannot count the oxygen or the carbon dioxide that you inhale and exhale. You cannot count them. So they are part of uncountable nouns. They are part of stof norm because it's a gas. It vapors in the air. Okay. Voorbeelde is dus goud, silver, koper, diamante, steenkool in English. 
Goud is gold. Silver is silver. Koper is copper. Diamante is diamonds. And steenkool is coal. All right. I believe you guys heard before of these examples. Remember, stofname, they are uncountable, uncountable nouns. You cannot count them. Good. Maar, hulle kom uit die natuur. They come out of nature. They come out of the earth. All right. The stofname. The next one and the last one that we're going to look at today is abstract, the self-standige naamwoord. Abstract noun. I believe more of you or most of you know what is an abstract noun, but let's quickly look. Okay. This naamwoord wat gevoelens to stand in abstracte concepte Verduidelik. If I look like this, how do I look? I look very cross now. And that is an abstract noun. When you are feeling angry or you're feeling happy, it is an abstract, self-standige noun with an abstract noun. So nouns are feelings, conditions and abstract concepts. Good. Die samenkomst was nie suksesvol nie, want die deelnemers kon nie hul woede en frustratie beheer nie. The gathering was not successful because the participants could not control their anger and frustration. They felt angry, they felt frustrated because something was not nice. And you could see that. So it is an emotion, a feeling, a condition that we can see. We cannot touch it. You cannot touch anger. Can you touch it? No, you can't physically touch it, but you can see it. All right. So, this is the name of things that we can't see, see, feel, like, prove, or wear. But you can see um, the facial things, but you can't physically, physically see anger. You can see when someone is feeling angered. Then that is an abstract noun. Good. Wanneer iemand hartseer is, vrees, geluk of woede. When someone is hurting, um, sad, in fear, happy and very angry. Okay. Dan dit is abstracte, selfs dan genoem word abstract noun. It is names of things that we cannot see, feel, smell, taste or hear. You can see when someone is, but you cannot physically see anger. You cannot physically see um, sadness, physically, the thing, you can see when someone shows that, but you cannot physically see it, you don't feel the pain that someone else is feeling at that stage, so you can't even feel it, no, they do not have a plural form, so you cannot put it in a plural form, like for, for short name, common nouns, you can put them in plural form, abstracte selfstandige genaam worde jylle, Je kan hem niet in een meervoudsvorm zetten. You cannot put them in a plural form. All right. This concludes now um, the lesson for self um, Please go and learn them, practice them. Um, make sure you understand them. And then we will see each other in the next lesson. You must have an awesome day. And yeah, enjoy Afrikaans. As a belief. Leer hierdie goeie so dat jy somme makkelijk jou sinne en jou paragrafe en lees vir jou sal makkelijk maak in Afrikaans. Jylle moet een wonderlijke awesome dag hee. Tot ziens!